Hey, what's going on, guys? JP Gaming here with another update of my Minecraft World War II map. Um, actually, you know what? I think I should probably put on that uh, World War II uniform. It seems really fitting, you know. All right, let's see. Uh, let's just take the American uniform in a hurry. All right. Now on to the updates. So right here, I've mapped out the whole battlefield. Um, from the airfield to the town to the beach to the B-17s. Um, yeah, it took it took me quite a while to make this map. Uh, mapping it out is really hard, actually. Uh, there's probably easier ways. I just took the hard run, you know. Um, anyways, uh, down here, as you can see on the map, I've added in way more buildings. Um, of course, I'll add in more on the left otherwise it's just a big hole and nobody would like that and to the to the right of the town there's a farm and over here is a windmill um, and yeah uh, I guess I'll just show you guys it now alright oh wait by the way um, this is probably not the most important thing but I've added in these TNT to represent the ammunition for the the AA guns and the artillery and the basically ev everything. Um, even inside this uh, cannon bunker or whatever you want to call it, I have replaced the shells with these TNT. Uh, I know it's not really realistic because you can't shoot a TNT out of a cannon um, physically. Maybe you can, uh, but it's just not like you know a good thing probably it probably explode your gun but anyways uh yeah i've rep i have repre representation of the ammunition with tnt um and over to the left of the bunker i've added in three new bunkers um here i just made up in my mind uh basically it could be like a place where soldiers could like shoot down with a machine gun um it won't have like big artillery because this is a really small bunker. Same for this side. Uh, right here is like, I don't know, a hidden bunker I also made up in my mind. Uh, bird's eye view, it's almost invisible at first glance. Um, as you can see, it's all grass on the top. But in the front, you can see the stone walls and the grassy texture on it. And on the inside, you can see TNT as the ammunition as well. And in the entrance, uh, the entrance is also well hidden. Um, yep, right here, everything is in there. Uh, not sure if I should remove these grass blocks. Uh, I'm pretty lazy about that stuff. Um, but let me know in the comments if you want to want me to remove that, and I'll remove it uh, gladly. So on to the town. Um, as you may tell from the map, I have added in a lot of houses and stuff. If my chunks will load, and it looks like they're loading in. Uh, as you can see, this is the town right now. Um, as you can see on the walls of the houses, um, I've added in new flags. Uh, I know I said in my uh, last videos that. I couldn't make the Nazi flag and whatnot, but I decided, like, I Google searched it, and I decided to, like, make this uh, plus sign, because I've heard, like, the, the Nazis didn't have only the swastika flag, they also had the uh, cross, uh, if you don't know about it, I'll show an image right now, so yeah, guys, basically, uh, that's the cross that I meant to put in, um, and the reason why I basically made these banners is because one guy commented in my video, like, maybe I shouldn't put the swastika because it could be pretty, um, how do you say? It could be pretty offending to some people. And I agree with that. Um, and I just, I don't know what to do about this big Nazi flag, though. <laughs> like, um, I don't know if I should replace it with the cross. Um, so that's where I'm, like, 
giving you guys the opportunity to tell me what you want this flag to be. Like, if you want me to remove it or change it, just tell me in the comments below, and it'd be very helpful. Um, so, yeah. All right. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. I know this may seem really lazy, but I just basically, uh, for this building, I put two of these um, normal square houses, and I just stuck them together. <laughs> Um, and I made this one long, uh, house, basically. And also, guys, for the, uh, all the buildings, I've added in details on the inside. Um, it's basically chairs and sinks and kitchens. Uh, I know it's not a whole lot of detail, but I just put all the es essentials inside of them. It'd be a, a lot of work to just put a whole different design in each different building. Um, and over here we have basically the dock where you could go fishing, uh, probably not boating because this is like a small lake and there's actually no river attached to it, I believe. If I load this chunk in, let's see if there's no river. If there is, there's, it's probably just a small one. Let me see. All right, no, it's just a lake. Uh, you could probably tell from the map, too. Um, anyways, over here is the farm, and you may be wondering how I did this. It must have been a lot of work, and actually, no, it wasn't wor a lot of work at all. With the, help of, <laughs> with the help of World Edit, it actually came together really nice and easy. Like, all you have to do is just do slash brush, sphere, and, like, mask the grass or dirt. With uh, with the uh, whatever fertile soil, I guess you call it. I don't know how to say it. And let me make a day because it's getting really, really night. Really night. I have no grammar whatsoever, and I apologize. Let's clear the weather too. All right. So over here is the windmill. Um, yeah, not much. It didn't take too much time to get this done. Um, uh, in the inside, I haven't added in the stairs yet, so I'll be doing that sometime. Uh, let me see if I'm recording this still. Okay, good, I'm recording. Alright, um, so I basically based this windmill off of a World War II style windmill. Um, basically all, most of them. Not all of them. Most of them had bricks. So I just put brick um, brick blocks. Yeah. But anyways, guys. Um, I've actually named this town St. Nicholas Laurentville. Uh, this is actually a French name. Um, if, you want, if you're wondering why I made it French. Uh, Normandy, which I based this map off of, is in France. Um... And in the inside of this building, actually, since the last video, I've added in some details inside of it. I've added in uh, basically this long strip of wool. And I don't know what, what factory you want this to be, but I guess it's like a cotton factory, if you want to call it that. And I also added in this uh, fireplace to keep things warm inside. Uh, next to this factory or mill, sorry, I keep calling it factory, but it's really a mill, so it's part of like a cotton mill. But next to the mill is the cemetery, St. Nicholas Lawrence Cimetière, I don't know. Um, here is the graveyard, nothing much to see, thought it'd be fitting, uh, for a town. Um, gotta add in more buildings over here but yeah that is almost about it I believe um, yeah I think that's it um, let me know what you guys want me to add in to this map in the comments below um, I almost don't quite feel ready yet to finish this map though so let me know what you guys want to want me to add into this map in the comments.
<clears throat> I know I keep saying that a lot, but, like, it helps a lot. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh, my God, this is so cringy. But whatever. All right. So, yeah, this is two days worth of work since the last video. Um... Uh, oh yeah, I have some explaining to do. Um, I know I said I was going to add in battleships and whatnot, but I thought to my mind that that would be really hard work to do. Um, battleships have really detailed things. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I can't talk right now. I don't have any grammar in my mind. But yeah, battleships, um, they really complicated the build is what I'm trying to say. Um, and they would just take forever. Like, right now, I'm also building another map. Um, it's, it's gonna be an aircraft carrier map. But anyways, the aircraft carrier, it took me like, how do you say, one month just to complete the whole of the ship. Um, and I know you guys are saying like, well, you had world edit. It, it should have been really easy. And, you know, some parts are easy, but, like, the hole has to be curved. So there's all these um, chunks of blocks that you have to do. So you can't just, like, make a straight line with world edit. Um, but, yeah, ships are really complicated to make. Um, hopefully, it's okay if you guys don't need it. But if you do, just let me know in the comments, and I'll try my best to make one. But, yeah. That's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and keeping up with all my um, updates. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Eh, peace. Oops, I... I uh, whatever. Bye. <laughs>